to unmute myself first. Hello and welcome. Check. Dungeons, yeah, that's the thing. So the last time we figured out this whole madness, we're going to be actually attached to the module here, which... Frame it out like I have been framed. Oh. Got our prep room. Exit. Gotta figure out a potential duck. Um. Oh, yeah, the secrets of. We have to like go around an obstacle. That very well. Try that maybe. A skeleton. Try a skeleton spot. Spawner that basically probably want to take like slow. then a block as well. We'll do smooth. We have smooth stuff. Go like probably consider the spawner, which is spawners in the center. We can do four around it. This. I'll leave the honor uh, like it's go with skeleton. I'm going to want to a pillager would be so figure out how to like like collect a whole bunch of pillars. Like at an output. But I guess to for testing for port shear planning actually I think as we do actually never yet will you guys spawn if this all stops uh I think what we want to do is basically do this. We have like a platform. I remember this torch. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I had one of my resource packs on that made it so. Yeah. The, uh, the eyes looked funny because. Of <laughs> nice. Alright, what I need? I need one more block out. I spawn. That could be a way to have it so they can shoot at you, but you can get there as a player unless I could have something. That's it. Like one over here to get to him. Okay, so they will wander out on specifically. So let's try something. Grab a fence. Another brick fence. If I were to 
all the way around. Yeah, I think that will keep exiting player from re so this particular like I guess dungeon module would require you to be at a our post. Okay, so I get rid of them. I'm over here. Survival. Yeah, they're just gonna run off, which is I wanted them. Ow! Okay, so they can shoot me. Okay. So I think what I need to do eight. Dead? Uh, crimson? <laughs> then they'll stay in there, but there's also still a way for the... Yeah, I think they're out of that. I can easily see. Trying to escape. Key. Doesn't listen very well. They want pathing to get out. I can do have villager outpost spawning set up up here, and then I could have like maybe a gate and I could drop them down into here. I could use maybe hay bales or something. Yeah, I think this could work. Then as the player come into this room at one can't get out but they can get you right because they use crossbows you have a chance to run by without them shooting you because it's hard every time yeah, I like that you know if I cheese them by a little unavoidable. Ow. But at least they don't attack each other. Alright, so I guess the idea would be, as a player, you could come in under this. And just sneak under it, okay. I don't even need to have gates there, actually. Gate? Oh, okay. Alright, I like that idea. I think I need to make it a little bit wider, just to... Nothing in, or nothing spawning outside of it. So we'll expand this by one whole size all over. I like that I don't actually have to put a gate, so it's completely obvious. But also, I think what I'm going to do, disabling purposes, I would have a uh, redstone. Here has like a, a lever connected to it. So like outside of here. Okay. So here we could have redstone. Somewhere we have a redstone. Or not redstone, not like a lever. Would obviously be all like on the other side of the room where these guys are. And it could be a way to like disable the, like all of the traps.
There we go. For testing purposes, let's put a lever this and see if that keeps this from out. I don't think it's going to 100% stop it because the way that uh, how much light it's actually be. But maybe we just do the lights like in the ceiling. Have them one on each corner. Way to do it. Had that. Uh, I guess we could even have the one at the bottom as well. If we really wanted to. Purpose of playing it goes across here. We'll obviously have to have like. Control shoot, I think. Soldiers can like drop in. This. All of these. What I basically do is add a block and you have a repeater somewhere. Peter could come in like right here and then the red. Something like that. Give enough. I right, get that corner one, does it? Oh, it does. Okay. That little bit is plenty enough. Now, if I turn that on, it'll definitely keep that from. Okay. So that's. That's definitely gonna work. Good, yep. Sneak in here, I guess, to maybe get something. Maybe they could have an item inside, like... Part of this could have... A chest or something, maybe? You could just risk it and run in and try to grab the chest, though I don't think I'd want the... I need the chest to be... Not accessible from the outside, so... Still enough? That is still enough. Okay, maybe we have a good chest there. Or even better yet, I could maybe have it be like a barrel. Maybe we can hide. Something like And it's not as obvious. Take like and use Bruce for all of this, which redstone back. I what I should do. Uh, over here. Oh, this is not gonna fully work, but it'll be fine. It will work fine. So we'll do Bruce, planks, place, stone. There we go. This, this will be what the player can see, which guess with that, it makes it a little more obvious. In fact, I do like trapdoor. Something like that. Then it's like not super obvious, especially if it's dark. Like if it's dark in here, for example. Not gonna notice. Oh, the trapdoors are gonna move though. Whenever the, so I definitely want the redstone to not travel over that. So, 
Probably what I want to do is a uh, target block. Because then I can control where the redstone goes, because I don't want it to activate that, so... Have the redstone go over there. There we go. And it's actually a lot cleaner if you do it that way. There we go. Oh, it doesn't go far enough that way though, so I think we can... Yeah. I don't actually need this row here. Oh, there we go. That'll stop them from spawning. This is off, I wonder if it... I don't know if it's like the darkness area is too much or not. Darkness. Camera's so dark. Hmm. Okay, so that actually worked. I don't even need that. Actually, super helpful. Don't have to worry about doing anything underneath. Could all be on the top. Wait, did you spawn something? Hold on a minute. Can it spawn? It's super rare, so maybe it won't be completely disabled. There's still a bit of a challenge. Okay, yep. So that'll, that'll limit it, except. I'm silly, because it wouldn't be this that would be disabling it. Perhaps we should do skeleton with it. Problem with that is, I was thinking before, is that, uh... Shoot so fast! Oh, if they go up here, they can't shoot. <laughs> Didn't get up the corner. That's that's kind of silly. Oh, and then they shoot each other too. Which I guess that could be part of the strategy is get the skeletons to shoot each other. But I think I need to do something about that. In fact, I should use stairs. Stairs. Don't stick. Okay, if we turn this on, that'll work. F okay, so that's interesting. I don't want it this way. The other way, I think. Wait, will they still be able to shoot that way, though? Yeah. They'll be able to shoot. Good. Then you just won't be able to... Well, if I put this here, I don't think you... I gotta leave that a slab. I like that would be the entrance, and then the rest of it can... That way we don't have the skeletons coming up in the corners. There we go. Okay, so this, this is a good setup if we do skeletons. Your pillagers, however, we need to do it differently. So I want them to rain down, so I guess if we're doing skeleton, fill this in completely and don't even worry about it. A torch up here. But nothing spawns up there. That could be it, right? But I guess if we're going to have a center point, actually, we can this.
So we could have the whole thing lit up pretty easily. Gotta find where that's at. This song is super quiet. Okay. That could work for a skeleton one. Kinda like that, so it's a little like arena thing. To try to navigate over to and get around and find the way to turn it off. I guess for this we'll do have a sign. Do 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 do. What sort of die shall we do? Oh, the light gray, sure. I can say this one is. I don't know why I did it this way, but this is what I did it. Jelly Arena. Arena. I think that's how it's spelled. I hope that's how it's spelled. That's gonna be spelled. Grab this. Oop. There we go. Oh, I should definitely make this. I should stairs up here though. Okay. Probably what I'll do is just fill this in somehow, or even just drop a torch, I guess. This sort of be, won't be visible to the uh, player, but we don't want things spawning up here, so probably... we'll just put a torch on each one of these. Go. No. This could be one of the mob like things that you run into, and we could obviously like change the shape and everything, but we have to like. Make sure all the lighting is, is correct, but this, this is a pretty good concept we got here. Oh, he spawned so fast! Okay. We got that. That was actually surprisingly quick to set up something like that. Now, how about a parkour thing? I'd like to have a parkour thing. That could be good as well, so... I guess what we do is we look for things we could potentially use for parkour. I grab a standard thing for why picture um later. I guess for this we could have a solid block, we could have a lab. Even doors could work. Buttons, however, you can't stop. Then we'll move out of the at walls. Iron bars, we got They're kind of more or less the same. Bar. We have iron trap door, which can be automated. We'll just uh, lay out all our potential. Because the uh, trap, the iron trap door can be, or not enough, with redstone, which could be fun. Doing a clock. But what else have we got? Ooh, that could be an interesting mechanic. Oh, I should add that to my mechanic. I thought of something interesting. Let me pop it in there. Let's grab the book. Look at you. Let's see what we have here. Uh, I don't have it. Okay. Let's see. What is it called, though? Okay, yes. So, I guess, uh, let me get words for it. I, I struggle with... I totally forgot. That's... Down there, little guy. Okay. 
So what I'm after, uh, so I can spell things quickly. Want to deoxidize copper. And then the other thing was well, wax. Slash wax. Copper. So either using honeycomb or axe, we have it be a trigger mechanism. For certain things, or even like door combinations, puzzles, things like that. That's really cool. I'm, I'm glad thought about that one, because that would have something we can do. Really fun stuff. Okay, let's go back to here. I don't know if I want to use the oxidized copper or not. I guess we could. We could have, for example, I think we'd want to have, like, deoxidized. But then we would want to, oh, we could do a similar. Yeah, so we could, like, for example, use this. And we can use part of my, uh, Little trigger setup thing, uh, this one. And we can make it so you have to like deoxidize it down to a certain stage. Be pretty cool. To activate something. Could be good to do on a parkour. Um, what else could we do? Uh, oh, right. We could do powdered snow for one thing. And we can use, uh, words if I can think. Um, also add wool. We, we could use the parkour to teach other mechanics. This this music is so quiet. This is song. Uh, I don't know. Metal, metal something apparently. We could also use like burning of the wool. Be another mechanic to teach. Uh oh, candle can. Yes. Yes. Candles is another option. We have wool, which is a secondary mechanic to it. So like, for example, we could have them burn part of the wool so that I light. So we need to have them burn part of the wool so that I access the next part of the parkour, for example. Uh, I would make use of concrete powder. Like dropped. Another option. Dripstone could be one as well, and that would be pain. I do, however, feel like all the amethyst variants would be very good for or Potentially. Flowers and all sorts of flower pots. If we flower pots. Rods could work. Rods could work. Lamp. Flower pots. We have flower pot. We've got dropping. We've got various bits. We can rod. We can do it. Even in the pot, we can put something in the pot. It doesn't like change its its uh, hitbox, but be there for funds. Decorations in different styles. What else can we do? I guess we could have the iron door as well. A uh, this uh, would go secondary things that they do. Not simply just a thing to jump on. Uh oh, I'm curious. Oh, we could have we could use dirt. Put it in the path or tilling it, I think. Update. Um, just wondering, how about, what if I take a flower pot? I take an observer. And I, uh, a redstone lamp.
But if I put this on there, that'll update it. If I put anything in there, will it update it? It does. Okay. So that could also be a secondary thing as well, which is really cool. Okay, and I'll put the... <laughs> put an observer here. To remind me that that works. Okay. Alright. Interesting mechanics that I didn't know for sure, but it makes sense that they exist. Okay. What else do we got? I guess we could technically use beds. They are another option. And shulkers as well. They could be used. You gotta like open them up and close them or something. I don't know if you can open and close them while you are personally on it. I don't know if that'll work, but we can test it. Batters, I'm pretty sure you go through. Uh, magma blocks or something you gotta sneak on. Soul sand makes things just a little more difficult. As well as mud, because they're like lower blocks. Um, let's go. We could do a bamboo. That's another option, really, but... I think you'd have to have dirt underneath the bamboo, so that's probably not as viable. Um, we could have drip leaf. Just that's a pretty standard like parkour thing nowadays. Could make use of honey, or honey and slime. Those could both be used in parkour for sure, for sure. Grind style is a good thing. Yeah. Oop. We're gonna like toss some things out. Potential use. All oh, those are different. A ladder could be used. Well, it could technically. Guess that pot could be used. Or rod could be. Could be. But I don't think I'm gonna go scaffolding. But. All right, the hanging signs can be used. Not gonna worry about the lectern. Uh, wither skeleton head. I guess technically a chest could be used as well. Use pistons, sticky pistons to move stuff. Could use a hopper. Uh, boats could be potentially be a thing as well. Anything else? I don't powdered snow is another option. For if that kind of gives us pretty much everything we need. Everything we could more or less use, I think. The rest of this isn't going to be like... Physical items at all. Yeah. Okay, so we've got our pile of things. Uh, we're going to need... We're going to have mud here. Put them up there just for... That sake. This is a secondary mechanic thing. This, this would technically go over there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Head there. We have this for extra mechanics. Different shapes. Okay, get rid of all of these. Bill, other skeleton skull, and Bill, regular pot, piston, which I guess piston is a secondary. A hanging sign, which I guess we could try putting on a block. Step on that. Onto it. Fire. Now, the question is is, is there anywhere on this? Oops. I can, oh, as soon as you come in contact with it, it don't work. So, all right, because you could use a, sh okay. I want to do this where you use a shovel, that's an option. That's another secondary. Well, I want a side of a, side of a block like that. Yep, I think that might be slightly smaller than, oh, it's actually 
That'd be bigger than I thought. You can stand on like the bell part. Or this is like a very small section. Okay. Wow, we actually have a lot of potential. Okay. Then we have a hopper just for another oddly shaped thing. Like you can like fall inside. Why? Why it? We got a ladder which I put on a block here, I guess. There we go. We have a boat. And this pretty large thing for you to stand on that you can jump off of. Then we have powdered snow, which could have multiple functions. Alright, so here is our parkour kit. So, what do we want to... Well, I think for the sake of the a tutorial type one, we want to do something... So, perhaps what we could do is the iron trap door and dirt. Have a barrel at the beginning. And we can take a bunch of these and fill this. And then from here, or actually we could do that or we could do shovels. So actually I like this better because if we do this, the farmland will let you come back. So there be time aspect to that. Uh, let's see, for redstone, I know this is probably not the best block in the world, but just to get the idea. Not working. Yeah, I figured it would do that. to get them all fully did probably I definitely could do an ether hopper clock for this to work but that would be the idea so it's a little bit harder to do you could obviously you could just jump up here and oh do you fall through that you can fall through it Yes, okay, so that, that could definitely work. Since you can't stand on it unless you jump. You just gotta like bounce the whole time. Or most of the time. Alright, so there's that mechanic, there's this mechanic. Which we could connect the server up to. Trigger a piston, more or less, is what I'm thinking. Like, you would have. I put a repeater. I'd probably do. Right. So just something like that. Put a full block there. We'll have a redstone. We're gonna do it this way. Yeah. So that'll observe it, it'll do that, and then for example, it will do this. Will that work? Interesting. Okay, so we verified that, and that actually works interestingly enough. I don't know if I want to do it like that. I think I'd want to have it be similar to this where it's like a time thing, but it would be like a longer delay. So I guess after this reverts back, that would go down. But I don't want this to go down. I think I do want to do a repeater there, I think. A little too long. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting. Then after it goes back, retracts. Perfect. That's that concept. 
Oh, so we got two like timed things. I think those are very important. So this is very important to show that there will be blocks that do things, like action things that you need to interact with with a specific item. That's what that's teaching. Which I think for the most part the rest of these would work. And you do a shovel for that, you put a flower in there. You can make that fall, which I guess you could like have a torch. We need like various rules. So maybe I could put one of these in there as well with a torch. Maybe we'll do red oh, I know what we can do. We can do soul torches. We could say any soul torches can be broken. The only problem with doing a the only problem with this is that I have to that reset on its own, that is always going. I can have I can have it turn on and off. This, however, is not something that can be reset up. So, what I'm thinking instead, it might be better to do something like this. We could have a piston with a rod there, and we put this on top of it. Oh, actually, that would probably be there. We'd have it triggered, turned on, so when it turns off, it can drop the block. And then we could potentially have where it falls in a spot that could be moved later. For example, yeah, because if we do that, we could basically take this and if we have this timed correctly, this should actually, you know, make that block jump. So, to test this out, we need to get like a red probably, and a little bit of redstone. Oh, we probably want to have like an... Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to happen. That'll be sitting on there. That'll be like this, so... Oh. Wait, these need to be reversed. So what we need to do... We want a... redstone torch... here. We want this on. That'll be off. Of... Redstone that goes here basically. So if we... But that's oh this isn't the wrong spot. Okay. What does that do? Oh That's what I want to happen. Ha! Okay, so we can Obviously, we need to uh, do this correctly. <laughs> so that can go there. That can go here. That's kind of how that's the initial setup is how it's going to work. And then. Oh, wait. That's not correct either. This is the correct. Oh. Oh. Okay. Obviously, that's going to be a problem for returning. We need a different signal for the return so that it goes in the right order. So, I guess we have a signal, I guess, coming from here. We do right here. Let's remove this. This will kind of give me the idea. We'd want this to go the opposite direction, right? We'd want this to have a delay for re-triggering that. Okay, so this is the beginning state, which is powered on. Slightly problematic. So we definitely gotta figure out how to design this so that it works with the, this one being on, we'd want a probably a torch there. That one's off. 
Then when it receives signal. Oh. That would go there. Guess this could go. Hold on. I can go there. I can go. There. So if we do this now, and we send a signal into here, so let's grab a. I guess a lever works, but. Okay, so that's the default state. This, 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 but let me trigger it. Oh, it didn't work at all. Okay, so that's what I wanted to do. Then I needed to go back out. Hold on, so what does it do? So it goes up like that. It's gonna want to grab that copper rod, which is really annoying, but it can be solved by triggering this when we go back. I like moving it real quick is the idea. So, music. Intense. I have an observer going into going into this. I put down, you know, I move it, go back. Okay, we just basically need to trigger that once. Oh, it'll get a pulse. So when it does that, it needs to. But can I. Hold on, can we move each other? I don't remember. That's also an option, is just to... Well, you move it aside, but we don't need to move the whole thing. Fine. This is a good solution. Now, question. How do I do the reverse? What does this? That's... That's what we don't want to... That's default. That... So what we probably need to do is set this up with a brain can think. I probably need to do one of these things where we have the power goes through, I need a repeater, plug into a block, or I guess coming out of a block technically. Then if I take a like a button. Want some redstone. Bring into the block, right? Power through. Yes. That'll flicker. That flicker. And do this. Use a redstone block because that's I know how to use. Oh, uh, huh. Okay, we'll just do Will that work. That's turning it on. So from here, we need to Can I simplify. Okay, so if I do this now... Oh, wait. That's not what I'm after. What I'm after is doing this, like that. That's what I want to do. Because then I trigger that, and it does the first initial... Oh, wait, hold on. Why did you...
Oh. Try that again. That doesn't work either. More intense music. Okay, let's try this one. That didn't work at all. Is it the timing? I just do normal. Nothing. So what happened between... Oh, because it's not... That's why, I see. Okay. We'd need to do probably... This block here and then Peter. This is getting complicated, but it's it's okay. And that's gonna cause Alright, what I wanna do is probably use a comparator, right? Because it's is that gonna work? I don't know if that's gonna work. That's gonna lock that. But we don't wanna do that. There we go. Oh, it goes back after a delay. That's... How does it function here? I didn't realize I made a delay circuit there somehow. I do. Oh. My brain doesn't work for this. Dance music is definitely the most appropriate thing for this. Let's actually change the mood, shall we? <laughs> oh, goodness. Here, we'll go with this one. Why not? Did a little hop, but yeah. Is there a better way to do this? Do like this. That work better. Well, that didn't accomplish what I wanted to. i to be able to watch what's happening. Over here. There. Button. do anything to the... That? That's time to just get turned off. Because there's no power going to it. Do I need a comparator? They're gonna have a delay if I do that. So... Peter? Oh, actually, is that because I'm like, 
Yeah, I see that. That's what. I... I think that's probably more what I need. We're gonna move this back one. We're gonna. Oh, you're gonna lock up circular power, aren't you? Fine. My life more complicated. Because this block is getting power. Locks it in a circle. Oi! Not that. That's what we're doing. Okay. You go there. Go there. Now we can hit it. Bit of a silly thing and uh accurate where I want that. Oh, 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 derps. There we go. The thunderstorm happening, right? this to default state. Let's trigger it to fast. So we need a delay on lime, I think. Another delay on this line. Delay on this line. There we go. This is getting silly complicated, isn't it? Like this is just an absolute mess of redstone. Probably a much a much better way to do this. But what I guess really. There. I don't, I don't know why I'm bothered using all the blocks. Okay. Timing's all off, but that's okay. Okay, so if we want to trigger it... Okay, so that is correct that way. What we need to do is first trigger... I need another button here. Redstone. We want it to trigger that. That out of the way. And then from there, we need to, I guess, re trigger. State. Let's see. Hit again. That got moved out of the way. <laughs> so I guess the on state we need a delay here, so we'd want to. Yes. Take a repeater. Do that. So, trigger, and untrigger. Well, that's progress, but not exactly what we're wanting. So I think what we, actually, what we could actually do is probably just 
Take this redstone. Trigger that? Okay, so pop up, thing goes flying. It's so slow. Okay, so let's get a delay on that. Do this, so that's triggered. Block flies, and then untrigger. Wow, why is that so... No, that's definitely not how I want this to work. Actually, what I need to do... I'm being silly. What I need to actually do is take... Redstone off of this, I think. I can't. What I probably need to do... Have a block here. The observer... That... Okay, maybe that'll do it. It'll trigger at the same time. I don't know what happened. I didn't get to see it. Uh, okay. Special trigger, correct. Secondary trigger. go down like super late oh this is weakness all right what's oops we're on state our off state needs to be completely different Got to reverse engineer it. Let's get... Let's figure it out. So... Let's trigger it. We know this is the state it's in. Now we need to reverse this. So we need to first... Trigger this. And then... Need to... What does that do? Why does it not? Oh, because it's got power going to there. So, still, I think I also need to trigger this. You're going into there. Why are you? Oh, because that's triggering this anyway. I guess what we need to do is take. Server signal. So I guess this block. Is that over here, maybe? Okay, so that's correct there. Now we just simply need to then trigger. Gotta swap that. We need another... Ah, uh, this is such a mess. Let's 
state. Triggered state. Back to the triggered state, we gotta untrigger. <sighs> My brain is just not computing this. I'm no redstone. Brain can sort. I'm a tinkerer, but I'm not an engineer. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere, that's right. So I just need it to also. I need it to also trigger the redstone torch. I think I need to. Oh, that's got power. What is that? Oh, okay. That's not going to work. So I think I need a repeater there. Have that. The trick of this. Off the torch. Uh, okay, so what the trick is it? It flickered for a bit. If I just put a long delay on. Let's find out. One trigger. That did a lot. So it didn't allow that. <laughs> okay, let's think about the order. So I need to first move the rod out of the way and then put the piston climb ball down. Then, the second thing I need to do is push the copper rod back into place and then trigger that. Okay, so let's let's get this sorted. So first we need to pull the rod, move the slime down, put the rod back into place, activate the piston. So that's our order. So, I want to order that out by rearranging what we're doing here. We'll start with, I guess, we've got a button. We have a button here. First thing we want to do, repeat her off. I'm gonna trigger that. So I do that. That's done. Then after that, we want and this is simpler. Let's do repeater over here. The repeater there. I guess a block just. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now I have those, so let's do this. That. Uh, oh, because that's not actually... Not actually powering the thing. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's just do this. You got a repeater there, repeater there. Let's trigger both of those. 
Look at a redstone dust. Do this, and we can put a delay on this one. Do one delay? Let's find out what that does. That did nothing. Why are you not... Oh, right, because it's locked. So on top of doing this one, we need it to also disable this over here. Right. So... We take this over here with the same amount of signal. What's that in the spot? Okay, then the next thing we need to do is unpower this torch. So we grab a now get her here, and we put two delays there. Let's re-trigger this again. Get us triggered state. Now if I hit that. I guess we need this to be much longer signal. Oh, actually, probably do. I don't want to trigger that again. That was a problem. Well, I guess let's find out if we do that. We just... Uh, and we can feed it back in. What does that do? Pulse goes in. Need you to go back and get your triggered state, which you why not? Get in here. Oops. Okay, let's try that. Did it trigger a second time? What? Why did you go in a circle? Actually, what happens if I trigger this? It triggers just that. I'm puzzled. It's almost in the trigger. Good. Okay, I think what I actually need it to is take this one, maybe. Trigger this again. If we do this, if I trigger this, go anywhere and do anything. Triggered state. Okay. If I trigger this, puts it in that state. This works as long as we. <laughs> this is such a spaghetti mess. Then from here, this we can.
like that anyway. Alright, well, what if we take a repeater signal up? Go down underneath. Come back up. Figure that? I don't know. It might not be the way. We're good state. So this is going to need a lot more delay. Or there we can. We need to put delay in. I like. You like that? Let's find out what it does. What? Why did you stop? Oh. Uh. Oh. That? This works. The only problem is we're not getting Peter signals. So I guess we could up here. That double. I trigger that though. But I'm pretty sure it will. Nope, not what we want. Right. That doesn't work either. <laughs> uh, silly brain. This. There we go. That'll work. I made a clock. The stone spaghetti. How was it a? How did I make a clock? This block gets that block. Of course it is. There. signal yeah so we do is this this a spaghetti mess might actually yep. That's triggered. 
Uh, that's in the triggered state. Let's just put it back into it. Hey. If I trigger it... Does that. Get it back into this state. Get it back into the triggered state. My brain did not... My brain's not doing this. Okay, so we're going to flip that off. See. So we do that, and we do that. So that went back up, which is a problem. Because then you ready to go back. That. But it's doing that, this needs to be put back in an I'll put these back first. Brain malfunction. Okay. Let's see what we got. Please not follow. Ugh, okay. We're good state. So the untriggered state, first thing it does, pull that back, yes. Pop that down, yes. That needs to stay down longer. So I think what I need to do is do something like that. Might be what we need. But then we need this moved back. I guess this needs to be server. Try that, maybe. Triggered. Triggered. Oh. I'm silly. I have the redstone block that I can trigger it. Don't trigger it now. No. Uh well it made a mess. I gotta watch what it does. Opera. What did it just do? Uh, way too fast, I think. What happened? I put a repeater in there. Blah, blah. Okay, let's remove you out of the way for now. So this is triggered state. Hold back. All I simply want to do is get the Okay, let's do it again. My brain going up. Uh. I slightly get it. Like, see, that's that currently is current for that state. Then we just simply need to do that. But the slime needs to be there. But if we, for example, do one trigger that way. We do one of these resets. Triggers that too soon. So it messes everything up.
what on earth is what just happened <laughs> i'm so confused <laughs> what did you do I'm just juggling it around at the moment. Brain just. I don't engineer redstone. But I'll figure this out somehow. Whenever you start over. Get a fresh perspective. Try again. See how that goes. Okay, so if we want to reset this, let's grab, I guess, a Hey, swap. Let's power that on. Power it off. Remove it out of the way. Let me, uh, power this on. Off. Do that. Then, power the, that's not what I wanted there, power that off, power that back on, power that back on, back and turn. There's our order. So let's, uh, trigger it. So now we need to, first of all, we need a signal. Or on this button. And maybe we need a. Uh... We'll just do it this way. We'll go like this. We'll use redstone blocks for pistons because it seems to work a bit easier. Gave the pet some pet. Oh, down and making them down. Why not get an pet update? Back. Okay. Stick that pet some plays. Nice. Welcome to the stream. Would you like to change his name again? <laughs> what wonderful name will you come up with this time? Okay. First thing I'll trigger that. Trigger it again. I actually don't want this set up at all. What I want is a theory. That'll do both things. I'll do that. Got it. That's perfect the way it is. Okay. I see. That's the first. Oh, wait. Why? Right, because it's a. Uh, I do need this. So we don't go through. Doesn't trigger it twice. Okay, so I do that. What are? What am I even doing? All right. Well, so. What I'm wanting to do is I want something that I can put falling blocks on, but I want it to be edible. Because if I put, for example, this um, powdered concrete snow on a torch, you know, like so, that can't automatically reset. 
So I'm attempting to come up with a way to automatically reset it because what I'm doing is I'm designing dungeon pieces. I don't know if you've seen anything done so far. But uh, so if we go over here, I have a lodestone, which is a dungeon compass, which leads you to dungeon. You take the compass and toss it in here, which will then open the door, which I show you how that works here. So this is how you enter a dungeon. Over here, you drop that in. Door opens. You walk through and it closes. So that's how the entrance works. When you enter through, you'll come through into this room, which is a prep room, so you can get your spawn, get all your dungeon stuff here that you need, and saving your ender chest, like additional biscuits, you can bring out your backpack. You can use your soul compass if you ever die while you're in the dungeon and come back here, if the dungeon's large enough. Then you have a logbook to, to uh, keep notes, and you also can, this is reset, which this also has a reset. After you finish the dungeon, that'll reset the next player that comes in. Three dungeon biscuits, you can get three dungeon biscuits per dungeon. Then I made this little platform here, which is like a belt and spawner platform. So when you're running through part of the dungeon, there'll be a skeleton that can shoot at you. If you're not careful, you have to like find the lever to turn it off. Yeah, stuff like that. And then this one, I'm I'm messing with parkour, and I want to put in some like hints about what could possibly be found in the next, like the next dungeon. So the tutorial dungeon will have this little parkour thing that'll teach you, like, for example, there's dirt. So you can use the hoe, do that, and move that block out. Then over time, this will decay and it will reset the system. But I don't have to worry about resetting that one because it automatically does it. And here I'm going to have like a timer. So this is always going on and off, on and off part of the parkour. And then this is the part that I want to use this so what i'll end up doing i can show you this real quick this back in ready position so what i want to be able to do is fling that up to get it moved and maybe like drop it on a spot here and then i can drop it down and spring it back into this location once this is reset like so. Uh, where's this? So I'm gonna have to work out how to go about putting it back, though. I have to sort that out. So maybe I even, I might need to just make it a full block, to be honest. But this should work with anything. I could do this. Yeah, I'll probably have it be a, a solid block though. So when it resets, I need it to be able to land back on the spot. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to sort out. I'm trying to sort out how to reset a falling or gravity block. Because like, for example, this could be in the way on the parkour, like you could be here and you can't get past it. Unless you trigger it. You gotta trigger it, to drop it, get it out of the way. Then you can jump over, as an example. This over here is like my... my order. Why doesn't the system retract so it auto-resets? That's what I'm trying to get it to do. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Because <laughs> it's... The problem is it's the timing of these. The, uh... This has to trigger, so there's, I keep it where I normally have it. I'm probably going to have to do, oh, I just realized, probably, that's going to have to be a block lower, but that's fine. Um, if I do this, you know, okay, I guess it works. And I try to retract it, because this is timed to go first, it then does 
of designing the system to reset this like back to this position. So here's triggered. I'm trying to untrigger, which starts with moving that out of the way. Second thing would be probably back to what I should probably do. Probably do you repeat it? I need this to doing for the trigger. So but I also trigger this one. So like that. What happens if I do that? Well, it's close. I just needed that to trigger that sooner. So, if I just put a repeater there, will that work? Yeah, I, yeah, I was saying earlier, I'm a, I'm a redstone tinkerer, but I'm not a redstone uh, engineer. I don't know how to engineer these things. Oof, that was so close. It was like really close. So I just needed something... I needed the timing a little bit different. So if I were to put... Another repeater. Okay, that's still running into this. I still need to trigger this fast enough to pull that down prior to. That. Okay. I need to just do the trigger here. Okay, let me get back on track. What? my button there. first step second step is to trigger the system in. I'll trigger that twice so I need an observer Trigger that. So have signal trigger slime piston right away again. So the problem is it's this here is triggering both. I guess if I yeah, it's the problem is these are these two things are connected. Maybe I just need to separate them. But let, let me let me see if I can. Test that. So. because I'm silly. All right. They're saying have the trigger of the signal trigger slam piston twice. All right, because it does, it does stay up, right? Ah, yeah, that, that, okay, that might. Something like. That maybe? Is 
Wait, what? A little too quick. Why is it the observer signal should trigger that? I'm so confused by that. <laughs> okay. I trigger it now. That. Would shoot up the thing. Oh, a little too quick because of. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's. That's. I, I see now. I need to do maybe. Observer. Oh yes, that's right. Observer into a Peter? That? The layout one? But they pulled it down. It's definitely a good good direction. So if I have this, look at that again, example, uh, put it in beginning state, trigger it, does that, oh I know, that's not what I wanted to reset, trigger it first, that's what it's grabbing that. Ooh. Right. I'm silly. I can also do this. That's just for just for functionality purposes. I'll put this here. Then if I have it triggered out and up there, does it work? Should work. Why are you not doing that? All right, because it's. <laughs> Will this actually trigger the piston right there? We'll get this figured out. I just need to be so much of a derp. There. That'll do it. But that doesn't... That doesn't work. <laughs> eh. Say uh, okay. If I do this and I want to reset this, I think all I would need to do is quickly throw a signal into here. So It's turned off because of that. Uh, I don't know if this system I made is the most intelligent way to do this. Perhaps I should do it differently. Probably not using a redstone torch there would probably make things easier. Let's try that. Let's just, uh... Let's 
That's the default state. Let's do this. We're good. But still. Still does it though. Just to avoid that. For simplicity's sake, we could actually even just. <laughs> we could just take it lower. Right? That, that makes it simple. I don't necessarily need the it to be right there, right? So let's try this. What? Oh, because I'm being... Ah. Struggles. <laughs> there. Do that. Okay, so it's separating it wasn't it made it easier. <laughs> Alright, so now I guess we just need to see how the timing is and adjust the timing. So if that's there, I do that. That's obviously too soon. So I need a repeater, probably. Delay it some. Okay, let's delay it one more. There we go. <laughs> had to make it simpler. Had to make it. Sorry, right, had it had it way too complicated. We can obviously probably simplify this even by. Uh... Do I even need that repeater there? I probably don't even need that repeater there. I could probably just put the observer. Do I even need the observer? I don't even need the observer. That probably, oh no, I do need the observer, but I can put the observer here. I did that. Let's put the observer. There. And I could simply just redstone over top of it. Why did I put a piston there? <laughs> okay. Struggles. Oh gosh. The major, major struggles. Not, not, not for this. Ah. Click the thing. Reset. Fire the thing. Also to... There we go. Simplifying the system even more. That's good. Very good. Uh, I think that could work. Quick mess over here, but that could work. Uh, clean up a little bit here. Go like this to... I have like a bit of an area around this so I can see everything. Bit of all the exit. Okay. Alright, I also want to do my things more clear, like where, where redstone goes. Makes more sense. I have to readjust all the timings now that I broke everything, but that's
Okay. I think that's gonna be broken because I didn't replace the thing. Okay, it's good. Okay, let's technically go here to signify that it's over there. Don't need that there at all. That's the whole mechanism. Looks. more I can see the whole thing way less than what I was doing <laughs> oh goodness It's resettable. All that for a resettable falling block. <laughs> oh gosh. Now what I'm probably gonna actually end up doing when I think about it, is I want this to drop. So I'll probably have, you know, another like hidden piston somewhere down below. It would like Like that would be there, and then it would move out of the way as it falls down, and then the slime will bounce it back around. The hole will open at the top to drop it back in. That's a whole nother contraption. <laughs> so we're probably going to need to like customize that, depending on. Or I just need to build the loop. I, th I think that's what I'll do next stream, is I'll eventually build the loop that I need to send the falling block through so that I can get the. The size is like already sorted, and then if I ever put it anywhere in a dungeon, I already have a designated size. So I know how big it is. Yeah, that, I think that'll be smarter. Yeah. Alright, so that gives us three like teaching mechanisms to be aware of for dungeons. Um, we got other things like the wool. Pretty simple. It could just Light it with a light it with a torch though. The only problem with that is if this is ever on a server with fire tick off fire tick off, you won't actually be able to do that. So placement I do powdered snow instead and you use a bucket to move it. Don't we have buckets for like pick it up but don't put it down unless rules is specified? Oh by the way, skunky, I ever showed you this. I have my uh, catalog, my library of information for this stored on the world. <laughs> it looks pretty fancy. And whenever I need to edit anything, you know, I can like grab the book, make my edits. When I'm done, I put it back in. But I have a copy here. Yeah. Yes, I can't believe we actually sorted that out. Um, now I need to probably clean up this. Do this for now. The strange shot. Huh? Okay. We'll take this. Oh, I don't, don't need this. F. Okay. Come over here. This temporarily. Let's put that there as a reminder. Do it like this. Oh, I guess I could.
doing this manually, but it's okay. I like to signal or like section off each thing that I create. Oh, not from. We can put a all four corners where it's too dark. Temporary. So do this line and the sock is not. Not good either. Nope. Moving on. Okay. No. Here we go. Oof. And this actually really helps to do the uh, red redstone blocks like this for the, the outline because then I can actually count how many blocks of space I need. For example, if I need to know how big this is, I go oh, it's one, two pretty easy to, to see right where the edges are. Alright, this is the last thing I did. It was me trying to figure out the whole free item dispenser. Research and development. <laughs> So my initial thing was like, how do I do this? Figured out, oh yeah, hey, that locks thing. If I trigger that, pull it back. So that goes for that one. I was like, trying to figure out a way to do like a redstone back and forth. Didn't work very well. And I came to this solution. Press the button. Would trigger lamp several times. Play again by resetting it. Blinked a couple times. This is the final product. That's kind of how I'm doing a lot of my things. So this one was just kind of was kind of uniquely its own little thing. I didn't have like individual parts to separate, but just turned into one. But that's okay. Let's uh, get a sign out though. We're gonna say this one: falling block. Thrower, I guess? <laughs> Maybe it's tentative name. Alright. Oof. It'll be interesting to integrate this stuff into a parkour room, though. Then I gotta consider the space and where they are. But I guess technically this whole everything except for this this part here. All of this could be under anywhere. Just have to have the redstone signal travel far enough to trigger that and that in the right. And then this could easily be in a, like a timer could easily be in a wall, and I just have to have the block that, that connects into. This is super easy to have as well. I think I even have this be like in the ground at the oops at the floor level. You like have to hit this and then you have to run up and make it there in time. Maybe not like a whole section of like parkour steps like stairs that you have to have so you gotta hope that this doesn't decay too quickly make you fall i'm pretty sure there's a different amount of time for this to go back i think it's a random random tick whether or not that dries out it's a pretty long time i think i don't know the actual timing that much but yeah that's going to be it for this stream. As we play a very, like, low, mellow. <laughs> Let's jump to a different one, maybe. That one? Better outro? Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And for watching, I. Live. 
And if you watch this on YouTube, Oh, hey, we have Morbid to raid, so let's uh, raid Morbid. Later.